Hello, I'm Rachel Jones for the Finance News Network. Joining me today from Tribeca Alpha Plus Fund is Portfolio Manager June Bay Lu. June Bay, welcome to FNN. Well, it's great to be here, Rachel. Now, first up, June Bay, could you give us an introduction to the portfolio and why it's a standout? Alpha Plus Fund has been around for almost 14 years, and since the inception, we have outperformed by 8.3% per annum. And um, since I took over the full management of the fund early last year, uh, we've delivered 8.2% return. This compares with the broader ASX 200 return of minus 0.3%. So we are ranked in the top quartile across all Australian equity managers by Mercer Investments. Thanks, June Bay. And now before we talk about the fund in more detail, can you tell us how long short funds are performing this year? Long short managers have again um, outperformed the entire index as well as um, the broader Australian equity managers um, universe. So they delivered on aggregate a return of uh, down 6.4% compared to the market down 7.7% and the aggregate um, Australian manager universe of down 7.4%. Tribeca Alpha Plus Fund has performed very well compared to all of these managers. We've delivered a performance of down just 0.19%. Now to the fund in more detail, can you tell us more starting with the investment approach? Alpha Plus Fund is unique in this way that we don't confine ourselves to the traditional definition of growth or value manager. That means we go wherever the opportunity is. I always believe running a well-diversified portfolio filled with companies from every sector, the top quality companies and short the companies that have structural challenges. Now our process is supported by a really strong team of analysts and many of us have over 15 to 20 years worth of experience and most of us have been together for many, many years. And can you talk to us about the key holdings? For example, Domain. Now, we love this company because it offers not only the cyclical recovery, it also offers this multi-year structural growth story. It is the second biggest operator in a real estate listing market just after REA. But REA's market cap is eight times um, compared to Domain. The difference is REA started earlier and REA has done an incredible job in monetizing their market position. Now, Domain coming from behind, but they're catching up fast. We've seen incredible operational momentum um, just before, of course, the COVID disruption um, and the lockdown and the like. Um, but um, subsequently, following uh, the reopening in the last few months, we are seeing that momentum returning. So we think this company will deliver great earnings growth and it's probably one of the cheapest growth stock um, in the market um, at this point. Take another example. We like companies such as um, Center Group. Now, it's going through a world of pain at the moment, a shopping centre, but this company owns some of the most prime real estate in Australia. Um, and at the current price, it's trading at 50% discount to its net asset backing. Um, that means even if you buy those assets at the current price, assuming just buying it as asset value, you will still make money. Our view is once we move past the coronavirus um, impacts um, in the next 12 months, the company, the share price will, re will return to its true valuation. So Junbei, what's your outlook for the market and what opportunities do you see? Let's go to the outlook first. So unlike many others, we're reasonably optimistic the equity market um, from the perspective that uh, we believe the earnings has been cut significantly because of the lockdown. And from here on, over the next two years, we are actually looking at multi-year earnings recovery or earnings growth, which we haven't seen for quite some time. And on that basis, Plus, um, cheap interest rate has meant there's a lot of cheap money around. And what that does is inflating all the asset prices. Combining cheap money with the um, earnings recovery story, we believe the equity market is very well uh, positioned over the next one or two years. And in terms of the opportunity, um, just on the sectoral level, there are so many high quality businesses currently trading at a fraction of their real value. Um, it's time to take position in them. These may include toll roads, private hospitals, um, airports, and some of those assets are non-replicable assets. So 
I would say the current market is filled with uh, um, extreme market opportunities. And to the last question now, what is the key message you'd like to leave investors and where can they find out more information? Current market volatility is representing significant amount of opportunities for active investors. Take advantage of share price weaknesses caused by the pandemic lockdown and short-term earnings disruption. Right now represent probably some of once in a decade buying opportunity for some of those highest quality companies. Once we move past the short-term earnings disruption in two years time those other businesses will see share price double so as investors don't shy away from equity market because of the volatility take advantage of the short-term price weakness and stay invested any investors that are interested in finding out more you can find us on www.tribecaip.com Jun Bailu thanks so much for your insights today and thanks very much for the introduction Thank you so much, Rachel, for having me, and it's been a pleasure. Thank you.